Two people are dead following a head-on crash this morning near Fromberg. One of the victims, a 56-year-old Billings man, the other, a 16-year-old Joliet High School student. Both drivers died at the scene. Families, communities, and schools reeling tonight as word of this accident spreads. And the crash happened around 745 this morning on Highway 310 just north of Fromberg. Montana Highway Patrol says a Dodge Ram driven by the 16-year-old Joliet student was headed north when it crossed over into the southbound lane for unknown reasons and collided head-on with the Ford pickup. Now the boy's 12-year-old sister was also injured in the crash. She's being treated for broken bones but is expected to be okay. The Billings victim was not wearing a seatbelt at the time of the crash. Authorities say both of the teenagers were buckled up. Although authorities have not officially released the names of the victims, we do know much more about one of the drivers. The death of 16-year-old Paul McKay has Joliet High School and his football team rallying around their friend and teammate. Q2's David J had a chance to talk with the coach and some of the players tonight after their practice. David? Well, Jay, uh, Janela, uh, Coach uh, George Warburton says the team motto has been forte or strength, and he has used football adversity for life lessons. Today, players and coaches called upon that strength for the team, school, and community. Warburton says the team had a great practice today. The Jayhawks prepared for their playoff game on Saturday against Scobie. In honor of Paul McKay, the players will have number 70 stickers on their helmets, number 70 on the field, and uh, will sell T-shirts with the phrase, uh, Play for Paul. Coach Warburton says the practice today was the first step for the team in handling the death of a friend. Our coach has been really well about teaching us adversity this year, and it's been a really good life lesson not knowing this is going to happen, but when it did happen, we were there, and we were strong enough to handle it. We had adversity at the beginning of the year, but we didn't know something like this was going to happen at this time of the year, so it was, it was a very good practice for what kind of day it was for us. Paul McKay had one of the brightest smiles that, that I've ever yeah. seen. Every time I'd see him, he'd tell me hello. He made, he made it a point to say hi to us and, and to all the other adults and uh, kids. And so he was a, you know, he's a bright spot at our community for sure. And Coach Warburton says the players will paint number 70 on the field in honor of Paul McKay tomorrow afternoon. Also, the Carbon County Sheriff uh, says he will release the names, including the name of the 56-year-old man from Billings, tomorrow. Jay? All right. Thanks so much, David.